Hi, crafty friends. It's Robin from Raincross Farms Bakery. Welcome to our Facebook page. And we are going to have a, an adorable tutorial tonight using our club transfer. So come on in, get comfortable, get yourself a beverage and a snack and join us for, this will be a quick one, hopefully less than 30 minutes if not even less than that. We'll, we'll see. Anyway, my husband Bill is behind the camera, behind the computer. You might hear him once in a while. He might come and fidget with the camera. Just, just ignore him. I do. <laughs> not really. Anyway, hop on, say hello. I'm going to get my bot up and going. Give it its assignment. And... Hope you are all having a great week so far. Tuesday evening. Tuesday evening. Anything special going on? Save that. Publish that. Good to go. So, hello, hello, hello. Say hi when you hop on. Um, let me see. Okay, that has sent them all. Good to go. Turn off the volume. Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone? I've got this big old jar here. I can't see anything. So hop on, say hello, let us know you're here. Let us let us know we're not we're not just preaching to nobody out there. <laughs> So we are glad to have you. If you are watching and there is a red box that says live up here, you're watching us live and in real time. If that box isn't there, you're watching the replay. Either way, we love having you. Even if you're watching replay, comment hashtag replay. Hey, Roberta, welcome. Comment hashtag replay and go ahead and comment along. Um, the bot should continue to work if you comment keywords. The keyword tonight is club because we are using our club transfer. And let's see. Also, we would love it if you'd give our page a heart, if you'd follow our page, if you'd sprinkle our page out to your crafty friends. If you see something that you like tonight that reminds you of somebody that you think might enjoy it, feel free to forward it to them, tag them in the comments. That will just be great. Okay. I'm getting hot down here. I was, I was a little cool upstairs. Hmm. I guess, I guess it took the, yeah, there's, there's the word club. It just has an extra C. You got in. <laughs> Good job. Okay. So let me tell you about club. If you haven't already, if you are, if you join club, it's our monthly subscription service. If you join club every month, you get an envelope like this to your mailbox. And inside every month is an exclusive transfer. It's the B size eight and a half by 11. This one I've used up, I've used several times. So it's kind of beat up, but this is April's. This is only good through the end of April, and then you can't get this anymore. It's only available to club members and to designers. So if you like this transfer, the only way you can get it is to join club before April 30th. May, we'll have a whole new transfer come out. Along with the transfer, you get just about everything you need to make a couple different crafts. You also get three paste packets and they select the colors based on what's popular out there. So this one comes with sage, black velvet, and bark. And the very first month you sign up, you also get a free mini squeegee. So all you need to do every month is find a surface to chalk it on. So we've done a couple of different things. We have done, let's see, I have my, my giant uh, mason jar where we did it on here, Farm Fresh Organic. And also, then we did it, we, we etched it. I don't know if you can see it, I put the black in there. We etched it on this giant pickle jar. So fun, hopefully you can see that. So every month I try to show three or four or more different ways 
um, to use the club transfer so that you can get a lot of use out of it because you will get enough paste in these packets to do multiple projects. You, you probably won't use it all up on one. So just something to keep in mind. Hey, Marianne, welcome. Good evening. I'm gonna set those aside. And tonight, I'm doing this project anyway, even though I don't have the supply I need. It's somewhere around, it's somewhere around. We are going to do a dish towel. Now, I can't find my blank dish towel. So I have some of these that I picked up at Hobby Lobby when they were like 90% off. So we're gonna pretend this is not there. And I'm gonna show you how you can do a dish towel using our transfer, but we're not going to be using the paste. We're going to be using the ink because we want this permanent because we want to use it. We want to be able to wash it and dry it and have it stay there. So we're going to be doing an ink project tonight. Thanks so much, everybody. If you haven't already heard, the uh, keyword tonight is club because we are doing our club transfer. And Right, so we're going to do the club on this side. I'm going to use my ink mat and I'm going to actually put it down this way. A couple of reasons why I use the ink mat. It's, it's just a plastic, flexible plastic sheet, but it's sticky like a Cricut mat. And what that will do is that will keep my fabric in place when I go to ink. And it will also keep any ink from bleeding through onto the to the back to, to get on another part of the surface. What do you mean you don't keep it in place? Well, if I just tried to put this down on fabric and I and I move, I, I jostle it or something, I can kind of wrinkle the fabric. This kind of keeps it all in place. And also, I didn't iron this, but the stickiness is just kind of holding this in place so I didn't have to iron it so, yet. The way I'd explain it in my classroom is that it keeps the material from distorting as you're pushing down with the squeegee. Okay, there we go. Keeps the material from distorting when you're pushing down on the squeegee. Otherwise, it won't hold its shape. It could, it could kind of tweak, and you don't want that. You don't want a tweaked towel. So somewhere I will find my tea towels and we won't have to, put something, something, got some threads under here. So again, we're pretending this part isn't there. Okay, so I've got that in place. So again, holds the fabric in place. It also keeps any ink from bleeding through, getting onto the back of the surface, like on a t-shirt or something like that. So I'm gonna get my transfer out. And again, I've used this several times. You know, no, you are not completely useless. You are not useless. Not completely. Not completely. No, you are you are very useful. Very useful. Okay. So this is going to take up most of this. It's gonna be so pretty. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the colors that come with the, the transfer in paste, but I'm gonna use those same colors in ink, just so you can kind of see what it would look like. You are welcome to use whatever colors you want. But these happen to go with my kitchen. My house is decorated in a lot of green and black and, and wood. Okay, so I'm pushing this down. I didn't, I didn't fuzz it. Sometimes if you've watched me, you'll, you'll see me fuzz the transfer before I put it down, but it won't really do me any good because this is already fuzzy. So um, I shouldn't have any problem peeling it up. And I wanna make sure it's good and stuck down because our ink is just slightly thinner and it kind of has a tendency to bleed under so I want to make sure that everything that is stickable is stuck. Hi, Teresa. How are you today? I got notice that your order has been shipped. So you should be getting that in a couple of days. Our keyword is club because we're using the April club transfer. Um, if you comment the keyword, 
if, in case you're new and haven't haven't been with me before, if you comment the keyword, you will get a message to your messenger and it will say, congratulations, you've been entered into our weekly drawing. Commenting the keyword gets you entered into our weekly drawing. We do a drawing on Sunday evenings and all through the week as we do lives, I put out keywords and anybody who comments that keyword gets themselves an entry into that drawing. So that's the main thing. Also with that message will also be a couple of buttons that you can choose to click on or not if you want more information. There's information about the products that I'm using tonight. There's information about um, joining the club, which is the paid subscription program, or the VIP group, which is my free Facebook group. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, click on that. Or uh, what else? Oh, there's getting um, notifications. If you want to get a notice sent to your messenger right as we go live to help you not miss us, um, you can sign up there for that. Um, so feel free to click Clicking them does not obligate you for anything. It doesn't automatically sign you up for anything. So if you just want to click it and and follow your curiosity and see what's there, go ahead. I, I really don't trick you into, into anything. So you won't it won't automatically sign you up for anything. Okay. Hi, Maud. Hey Maud. Long time no see. I just watched Maud do a live. Okay. So I'm going to start with, I think I'm going to kind of go, I'm going to go inside out. So I'm going to do the animals in black. There's a pig and a, a rooster. Stand, the rooster is standing on the pig. So I'm going to chalk that in black velvet. And let's see, shall I do the grass in green? I should do the grass in green, shouldn't I? Okay, so same thing. This is this is our ink. This is our permanent, um, permanent option. Hi, Miriam, thank you for sprinkling. This is our permanent option. So when you heat set this, it will become permanent and you can wash it, dry it, and it's gonna, it's gonna hold up. Roberta wants to know, do you need to wash the sizing out of the material first? I, I haven't. Um, I, I never have, and I haven't had a problem. If that's something you're used to doing, you're, you're welcome to. I, I wouldn't hurt anything, but I haven't found it. I haven't had an issue with, with that being a problem. And in my classroom, I haven't had that much problem with it either. There have been times when sizing has been an issue, but typically that's not... And sizing is that is the, the additive they put on the fabric itself in the factory to, I don't know, help the fabric keep its shape or something. I don't know. Keeps it from uh, distorting when you put it through, when you're doing, uh, uh, sewing it together. Okay. okay, so I'm trying to do the little hooves and not the grass. And I'm going to, tell you what, I'm going to switch out to my multi-tool that gives me a thinner, a thinner squeegee to work with so I can get in tighter places. And this looks to be a three-footed pig. So I must be doing the flamingo thing on the other side. Okay, so I've got that scraped off the excess Put that back in my jar and I'm going to clean this off. So I'm going to need that again. Okay, now I'm going to do the bark, which is my dark brown. I'm going to do that on the farm fresh and organic. Again, I, I treat this just like the paste. Uh, the ink does not dry nearly as fast, so I don't have to worry so much about uh, paste and peel, where the, the paste dries very quickly, and if it dries in the screen, when I go to lift it up, it will pull up the, the paste from the surface. The ink dries much slower, so I have a little bit more working time with that. So 
Farm Fresh Organic. Actually, the ink doesn't ever totally dry, does it, until it's heated? Um, it, it, dry out. It, it dries out, yes. It would dry out enough to where it would stick to the screen, but it might take a couple hours to do that. Okay, so I've got organic, and then last I have my green. Actually, I think this is pesto and not sage, so it'll be a little bit darker. And I'm going to use my little multi-tool and get this grass. Because we like our animals to be grass-fed. Pigs. Well, we don't have pigs, but... Oh, that's true. We have grass-fed dogs. We have grass-fed... Well, we have grass-fed beef in our freezer. And we do have grass-fed dogs. They like to go out and have themselves a salad. <laughs> Didn't hear if you wash the clothing first, something. Okay, you already asked. We already talked about that. Okay. Got the grass. I'm going to get, there's this little diamond. I'm going to get that done. And I'm going to switch out to this, and I'm going to do my checkerboard in this green. Now, when I'm doing ink on fabric, I try to only go in one direction. I try not to go back and forth and up and down. That just helps, unless, it, unless I can't get it in there. Um, that just helps with the bleeding. If you're pushing that paste, if you're pushing that ink around, it might just decide to spill out. So you don't want that. So I just try to go one direction, either top to bottom, bottom to top, side to side, left to right, right to left. So how many of you have tried using ink? Thank you, Teresa, for sprinkling. How many of you have used ink? I recognize a lot of your names, and I know you have done paste. Okay, now I'm going to get this line all the way up the side. How many of you have tried ink? Super easy. I know a lot of people are intimidated by it, but you apply it the same way as you do the paste. You just kind of have to know a few little tricks. You need to know how to heat set it. Excess off. Put it back in here. Oh, you know what? I never did turn on my iron. Okay, I'm going to close these up. Now with ink, you have to be very careful that you don't get ink on your fingers or ink on your work surface because if I get ink anywhere on here, it's stuck. It's going to be stuck there. Even if I don't heat set it, it won't completely come out. It will, it will kind of stain the fabric. It won't be as solid as if I had heat set it. So I want to make sure I don't have any stray ink on my fingers when I go to pull this up. And let me show you, get it started in a corner, go to the edge. And this is where the, the ink mat comes in handy because it's holding that fabric in place. Ta-da! Look at that! Isn't that cute? Okay, let's put this aside. And let's put this aside for just a second. I'm going to I'm going to let that dry before I heat set it. Well, I'm still waiting for my iron to heat up and also um, when I before I heat set, I want that to be good and dry. The best thing to do is actually leave it overnight or even leave it 24 hours to air dry, but we don't have that kind of time. I'm trying to get you guys out of here early tonight cuz I went so long yesterday. So I'm going to take just a second because I'm still waiting for that to dry. And I'm going to clean this transfer. 
ink cleans up, actually, in my opinion, ink cleans up easier than paste does. So I'm just spraying it with water. I like to start with a paper towel or a Swedish dishcloth to get the bulk of that ink or paste off. That way my board eraser, which I'm gonna pull out next, has less work to do. Hi, Alana, just got home from my test for passing the train. Did you pass, yay! Oh, you missed one. Poor Alana. Take it again, take it again. So what, you got like 98.5%, 98.8% on your, on your test? Okay, so I would throw away that paper towel or that Swedish dishcloth. I'll wring it out, rinse it out, use it again. My iron is hot. Now I'm gonna to switch to my board eraser because this will go in and get any of that ink out of the screen. Now, Alana, don't you have more? There's more parts to that training, didn't you say? This was just like one of the sections. I love the colors too, Maude. At first I kind of thought, oh, these are kind of boring, but they're the colors I decorate my house with. So <laughs> maybe I'm just boring. <laughs> Bill will tell you my favorite color is brown. Brown, brown. <laughs> okay, so front and back with the board eraser, and that is pulling all of that. I'm not, I'm not pushing this very hard. It doesn't require a lot of elbow grease. Do people talk about elbow grease anymore? I don't Although know I just happened. did, but. Would kids today know what elbow grease is? Hi, Beth. Who, Beth? A Beth I know? Okay, so cleaned it front and back. As long as I have all of that ink out of the screen, I am good to go. I can let this dry, put it back on its backer sheet and use it again. You can get 10 to 12 uses out of these guaranteed by the company, but I know that if you clean them up promptly and thoroughly, you can get more uses out of them, you know, 20 or more. Anyway, it is not, it is not. <laughs> okay, three more trainings plus 40 hours. Okay. So I'm gonna let this air dry, sticky side up. I'm gonna let that air dry and I'm going to switch over to this. And then I'm going to get out my dryer. Now at this point, see it didn't, it didn't really bleed through. And yes, if you're just joining us, I am reusing a tea towel because I couldn't find any of my blank ones. So I'm, I'm, I'm showing you how to do this and I will have a two-sided two -sided dish towel. Okay, so I'm gonna dry this just so it's dry to the touch. And then I'm going to heat set it. I like green colors in your house. Yes, I do too. Well, I think that because green goes with brown? Yes, green goes with brown and black goes with brown. And what doesn't go with brown? <laughs> no, honestly, well, I, like, I, I have a lot of brown in the house because there's a lot of wood in the house. Wood floors, wood ceiling. Wood, not paneling, but some of the walls are, are wood slats. Thanks, Teresa. Super simple. You have a, a gift you have to take for a party you're invited to. You need a quick gift. Keep yourself a stash of dish towels and whip this up in... Well, it's taken me 25 minutes and I should, I'll probably be done at 30 minutes. Even pink sparkles go with brown. Yes. How do you know that? Well, it's okay, still a little bit tacky. So I want it just a little bit drier. The reason I want it drier is because if it's still wet, 
and my iron slightly moves, it will smear my ink. So I want it as dry as possible. Where do you get your dish towels? Um, I have gotten my dish towels. Well, this, this one I got from Hobby Lobby. It's already a dish towel. So I'm just using it to show you how inking works. But I have gotten them at, um, gotten them at Walmart. I've gotten them at Joann's, Michael's. Um, I've also gotten, I just ordered some on Amazon too. So. Ikea. Hmm? Ikea. You got ones at Ikea, did you not? Oh, uh, no, I got aprons at Ikea. Oh. They might have dish towels at Ikea, but not everybody's close to an Ikea. I'm just lightly touching this, still a little tacky. Let me give it just another second. Now this is a really fine weave cotton. Um, I do have some dish towels that are kind of a waffle weave, but I'm afraid that, I might have to try it sometime, but I'm afraid that the transfer wouldn't stick properly to a waffle weave towel. I might have to try it, we'll see. Maybe if I pressed it first and got as much of the waffling out as possible. Okay, so even though I'm heating this, this is not heat setting it. I need to heat set this at about, oh, between 320 and 350. So I'm going to put a heat mat, heat pad underneath this. And because that is ink and I don't want to get this ink on the plate of my iron. I am going to put down a layer of parchment paper. Parchment, not wax paper. That will make a mess. And I'm going to cover this up. Now I'm going to use my Cricut Easy Press, but you can do this with a household iron also. With the Easy Press, I like it because it gives me the exact temperature. It tells me the exact temperature. I can set a timer. It's a fun toy. Anyway, so I'm going to just put this down and 350 degrees, because this is cotton, that's a pretty sturdy fabric. Um, I might actually stop this at 20 seconds, just because I don't want to scorch it, because it is white cotton. So anywhere between 325 and 350 would be a good temperature. And I'm going to move this to the side. Okay, Walmart, TJ Maxx, and Big Lots. That's all we have. That's all you have. Well, and and Amazon. Don't for, don't forget it. You can buy anything on Amazon. Honestly. Well, you can't buy. Although they're working on it, you can't buy real estate on it. Well, okay. Can't buy firearms on it. Can't buy animals. Ammunition. Can't buy animals. Yeah, well. Okay, I didn't set that timer. Okay, so I'm just, I'm going over this just a couple of times. I'm not putting any pressure. Now, if you did this with a household iron, you would do it no steam, still with the parchment paper. You'd set it to about a medium high and you would keep that iron moving for about four minutes. Okay. Now I'm going to peel this off. You can kind of see it kind of picked up a little bit of the ink. Okay. Now I'm going to check and see if this is heat set. I'm gonna let it cool off. And once it's cool to the touch, if I touch it and it still feels tacky, then it's not completely heat set. And I would just do the same thing over again, apply more heat and try it again. Okay. Okay. So that feels, that is not tacky at all. So I'm also going to turn this over and I'm going to heat set the back. Also. Why are you doing the back? Just because the ink is in there in a layer and I have, I have certainly sealed in the top layer. Coming through the back helps me make sure I've sealed it all the way through that layer. So same thing, 350, um, maybe 15, 20 seconds at a time if you're not sure of your fabric. 
because it's white cotton, I don't I don't want to scorch it on accident. So so I'm doing it for like 20 seconds at a time. Although if I did scorch it, what what is it you do? You you wash it in peroxide? I think I heard I that. I have heard that. I've heard that. That kind they of takes out some of the yellowing. They spray in the screen printing industry to make it the spray. You can spray it, reheat it, and it takes it out. It takes the scorching out. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as washing this, I wash it according to what the fabric needs. I don't do anything special because I have inked it. So I would just stick this in warm, hot washing machine, tumble dry, because that's what I do with this dish towel. And that ink will hold up beautifully. Okay, so now I've done it to the back. Remember, it's very hot. Ignore that. That no longer looks quite so pretty because now I've got this. Isn't that cute? My cute little dish towel. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you will give inking a try. You, I did an order last week at Dollar Tree. They had 40% off shipping and we gave Dollar Tree, but they never have anything good. You have it? Okay. Well, one thing about Dollar Tree is it's always changing. Go every week and uh, they always have, they, it's always changing up. If they don't have something one week, chances are they might have it the next week. They might not have it again until the next year. You see a lot of things online. There's some stores that have things that I've never seen anywhere else. So anyway, so here is our dish towel with our club transfer. If you haven't already, make sure you type in the keyword club and that will get you entered into our weekly drawing that we will, we will hold on Sunday evening. And it also gives you some other buttons you can push if you want any other information about products that I've used or more information about the club. I'd love to have some of you join me as new club members and I'll give you lots of ideas that you can use your club transfer with. Again, this design is only available through the end of April and then it will be gone. Um, and then May will come out with a brand new one that I have it, but I can't show you yet. It's, it's good. It will be, it'll be very good for Father's Day as well as other, for other purposes, but it would be very appropriate for Father's Day. Okay. You do like pushing buttons. You especially like pushing my buttons. Anyway, let me pose with my picture. He's being, he's being rude. He's being inappropriate back there. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Got to pose for my thumbnail so I don't have a funky picture. You know how sometimes you see people and they're doing strange things with their faces and it's frozen in time. So I try to take a decent picture that I can put at the very beginning. So thanks for joining us. We got, I got you out of here in about 34 minutes, which more than makes up for last night's hour and a half. So uh, we won't be on tomorrow night, but we'll be back again on Thursday and keep, keep watching our page. I told you yesterday, if you were with me, um, we just got approved for monetization for our Facebook Reels. So we are, we are up to 27 cents in two days. We have earned 27 cents. So if you're scrolling on Facebook, find our Reels, watch it, watch it 10 times, com comment on it, and maybe we'll make it to a quarter. <laughs> So we're excited. I'm going to, now I really have to get posting those reels. So thanks so much for your support. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight and do something creative every day. Bye-bye.